Good morning. Is the voice of joy still coming to the kingdom of Judah? Our reading today is Jeremiah 32, verses 10 and 11. Thus says the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, of which you say, It is desolate, without man and without beast, in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. And of those who will bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause the captives of the land to return as at the first, says the Lord. So remember, the armies of Babylon have invaded. Their, their people are trapped in Jerusalem. Most of the cities have been emptied. In most cases across the whole kingdom of Judah, the invading armies and forces of Babylon have taken the city. The people have fled or they've been carried away to captivity. Some of them are out hiding in the brambles and trying to be very quiet and not be found by the patrolling Babylonian armies. So that's the situation. Everything is shut down. Everything is at a standstill. If it was like in our day, it would be like the stock market has crashed, the highways are closed, the store shelves are empty, the stores are closed, the internet, the network is down, uh, the cell towers are all not functioning. Everything is shut down and broken. Nobody's around to be seen. It would be kind of like that. No radio, no TV, just zero. Everything is at a standstill. The kingdom of Judah is at an utter standstill because the people, the leaders did not repent and the people didn't repent. And so the armies of Babylon are now there and present. God withdrew his protection because of their apostasy and now everything just looks utterly hopeless. And then we get this prophecy from Jeremiah. This is being uttered by Jeremiah inside the gates. The city is surrounded. Things look hopeless, but God wants his people to know that his purposes are not complete. He hasn't finished what he's doing. Oh, the Lord is on his throne and he's not done with his people. Looks pretty bleak for them right now. Looks like this is gone and gone for good. will never, ever come back. But God's not done yet. And then we turn and look at our own time. And things are pretty wild today in the last 18 months, 24 months. So many vast changes and things we didn't expect to see. But here we are. There's a lot of dislocation, people out of work, things are shut down. You can't get this, you can't get that. Different kind of restrictions, many of them totally against a free uh, a world of liberty. Amazing times, unprecedented times. We've never had a time like this in our life, yours or mine. So we look around and things look, how can they ever be fixed? But God is still on his throne. God still hasn't finished his purpose in earth for us, his purpose for your heart and mine. So let's not lose hope. God is still with us. You know, there had to be a lot of fear in the kingdom of Judah based on what we've just read in the scriptures. And today all around us, there's a lot of fear. We should remember God will do good for his people. God is looking to bless He's just not done with his purposes yet. In the meantime, what we need to do is come to our knees. We need to pray, Lord, oh, help me, my heart to be open so that you can do a work in there that you and I both know needs to be done much deeper than it's ever gone. Lord, be our helper. That's what we want to pray about. In fact, let's say that to him right now. Dear Father in heaven, where are our hearts? Help us to be right we pray that although there's fear all around, we will be encouraged. You haven't finished your purpose, and here we still are. We're still in great need spiritually. Lord, may you do a work inside of us so that we won't be subject to the fear and running around being crazy, but instead, Lord, we'll have your peace. You can get us through these times just as you got the faithful in Judah through in their time. Oh, Lord, help our hearts to be turned to you, and we thank you for hearing our request, Lord, today. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Just when things look darkest, God has a plan. He's, he's going to restore things into a good way. So, yes, the sound of joy is coming, and we can look up. God be with you this day.